Hi everyone, I'm going to do this in video form because sometimes a video is worth um, a thousand words. So um, I'm getting emails about people struggling, especially with the cell cycle genetics, um, DNA assignments, and that's pretty standard. Um, they're not hard, um, but they seem hard. They seem more complicated than um, than they really are. Mm -hmm. um, but let's go in there real quick and look at what we have. So one of the things I wanted to point out to you is when you come in there into the module overview, um, I understand you can just read what you need to do, right? Um, but do yourself a favor and click on the walkthrough because the walkthrough um, doesn't just doesn't just tell you what you need to do. It tells you, it does a little bit of a show and tell of sometimes how the things go together, but it also points out things um, that are usually the difficulties that, that people have with the subject. Um, so in this particular case, um, I'm pointing you in the walkthrough, I'm pointing you to this questions and answers page because I know that students struggle um, with these assignments. So um, the usual, you know, handout info, and actually I'll pull the handout up real quick. So here's your handout. So the first thing people struggle with is these functions. Um, and I specifically talk about, um, oh, not actually the functions aren't so much, it's the labels, right? Most people struggle with the labels. And um, I talk about here in the lecture about the labels, but I also specifically mention it in the questions and answers page. Um, and so basically in terms of labels, look at these chart, uh, look at these um, pictures for lack of a better word. Um, look at these pictures to figure out um, what's there and what isn't there in what phase. Um, and some of these things you can and you some of these things you cannot see. Um, then you've got the demonstrations. Um, students struggle with the virtual child. It's not as hard as you make it out to be. So look at this video. Um, and most of the mistakes people are making is silly um, little mistakes where um, I expect you to give me a, um, a word like blonde or, you know, brown eyed or whatever. Um, and you say 50%. And so at, look at the question and, um, but here's that questions and answers page that I'm talking about. And I talk you through a video with a cell phases assignment, what you're supposed to be looking at. Um, the timing of the mitotic cycle, the genetic survey, and the virtual child. Each of these things individually, how you're supposed to fill them out. Um, so that's part one of this uh, little thing. So if you have any, look at these things first, and then if you still have any questions, let me know. Part two. It's really difficult for me to answer questions where somebody says, I'm struggling with these assignments because I'm giving you these resources. So all I can do is point you to the resources. What I would prefer is a more direct question. Um, I don't understand the inheritance of eye color. Um, I get to question 14 and I put C and D 
and it doesn't work for me. Now I understand that giving me that amount of detail takes a lot of typing. Alternatively, it takes a video, right? Um, so I use um, the way I do videos, I use Screencastify. Um, Screencastify is a free program. And Castify. Well, if I could spell, it would be very helpful. So I'm going to pull it in real quick. It's a, th it's a free program. Uh, it's free for recordings up to five minutes. And it's super simple. Um, it's, um, it's just a, um, a, a little app. No, you don't call it app, right? Uh, an extension. Uh, it's just a little extension up here. And then you click on it and you just say record. Um, and then it records. And like I said, up to five minutes of free. And um, I have the paid version. Uh, nobody pays me to advertise this. Um, there are other things that you can use to record things if that's what you want to do. So one of the things that you have access to for recordings, for example, is um, Teams. So in Teams, um, and I can show you how to do that. Um, if you go into um, your calendar um, in Teams and you just like, you know, there by yourself. So you're in your calendar in, in Teams. You can just say new meeting or you can say meet now. Uh, start a meeting. And then say join now. This is probably not going to work because, well, maybe it will. And then in here, you can start recording. Um, and you can share the screen. You can present things. You can add backgrounds. And you can you know, do whatever you need to do. Um, but then you can save the video. You can upload it to YouTube, um, which is another thing I can show you how to do. Hang on, let me minimize this call real quick. And we go to YouTube real quick. So if you're in YouTube, you can get yourself an account in YouTube and you can go to have your channel. And then when you say create, you can upload your videos. Um, so, uh, and then you can share the, um, don't make them public, make them um, what you want is with your videos. You want them unlisted. Unlisted means that they are, um, people with a link can see them, but people without the link cannot. Um, so hopefully that's helpful. And good luck with the exam.